Hello everyone, Stark is a free productions here, welcoming you to a bonus part of the Bugs Bunny Lost in Time walkthrough. Can any of you guess where I am now? Yep, I'm in the cutoff area, which which is only supposed to be accessed in the nighttime version through Hocus Pocus. Because as you can see there's the exit to the level right there. In order to, in order to get to this place, it, it requires very good timing, you know. And it's all about that pointy edge over there. I mean, if you jump off it the normal way, then then you'll miss this uh, platform, you know, this platform right here. So what you have to do is you've got to wait the bird, uh, the, the pterodactyl up. And I, I can't remember if it's uh, failing, failing to grab you properly or pushing a little bit, but anyway. When, when one of those two things happens, you move forwards a little bit, and then you're more likely to land land here. So yeah, as I said, it's very tricky. And I actually don't recommend this because there's, there's nothing really to see. It's just empty. And also in the nighttime version, the, the camera just went... The camera will automatically adjust when you go on the seesaw, but on this it doesn't. And I mean, you can, I mean, you can still turn it around yourself, though. But anyway, see, it 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 doesn't adjust to the side. And also, those guys throwing the boulders are not there whatsoever. I mean, this plant thing is still there. And yeah. And those logs up there that are exactly the same colour as to what they would be in the in the nighttime version, which makes me think that maybe they made the, the nighttime version first, then copied and pasted it and, and and converted it to daytime. But before they finished the conversion of of this part, they decided not to. They decided that this part shouldn't be accessed whatsoever. I mean that's. That's just my guess, but anyway, yeah. And also, there's no way of getting up there. I think you can in EPSXC with the uh, the moon jump cheat, but yeah. If I if I can do that, then I will upload some pictures of it to a certain website, and that not because I'm I'm planning on making a blog sort of website, and I'll upload the pictures to the site of me in that area. And they can, and they can see, you know. But anyway, I'm going to be going into into this level now because <laughs> it's pretty funny what happens if nope. It's pretty funny what happens if you if you turn all these to bugs, you know. If you turn all these, well, no, 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 no. Sh shut up. Okay, <laughs> so they're all turned to me now, or bugs, whatever. And um, and yeah, I mean, I, I don't get why this this rabbit and duck season thing would be part of the Stone Age because Stone Age is prehistoric, you know, as dinosaurs, and this doesn't. Whatsoever, maybe the ones that to put in a level that, that showed Elmer for what he really is. Yeah. So we'll just wait around a little bit, and yeah, we don't need to kick Daffy because there's 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 nothing for him to change. <laughs> so now let's see what happens. Yeah, that's it. Run away, bugs. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Sorry, you lost. Wanna try again, fur face? <laughs> fur face. No, I do not. I've already got the clock for it anyway. In you know it in the it, it in the actual water. So I'm going to stop the video now and and think if there's anything else I can show. Okay, so now that I've got Daffy to steal some of my golden carrots, 
We are now going to see the alternative ending credits which you would get if you don't get 100%. So yeah. Here we go. And because we've already seen this cutscene, we can just skip it and and there it is. Uh yeah. I think it you end up in well yeah, this is the kind of very way way to expect bugs to live anyway. I guess they put in Pismo Beach as some sort of reward. You know, forgetting something because for, forgetting everything because that's where bugs wanted to go in the first place. Um, one thing that I was going to say when I did the last part of the war through was that, uh, but but then I got distracted by something in the end credits. Is that, is that, you know, I like playing this game, and I've even had dreams that either relate to some of the stuff that happens in the game, or levels that don't exist. <laughs> Yeah, levels in the game that, that that don't exist, and there was one I had in 2012, which was well, I'm, I'm not going to go into detail about it because I don't even know how to how I would properly say it. But yeah, it's uh, and also what I was trying to point, one thing I wanted to point out in the. Uh, in 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 the main walkthrough when I did the ending credits on that is the name of the guy who founded Infogrames because his name is is in the ending credits but I couldn't but I didn't notice it because the picture was too bright the picture was too bright towards the top so therefore it would have been hard harder to see and it was was well, it was it, it it was white text anyway so, yeah. It's been so long since I've viewed this ending credits anyway. In fact, this is the ending credit that I always used to see, and then when I was playing this game five years ago, I saw the ending credit with, with, with Pismo Beach, and I was thinking to myself, hang on a minute, how did that happen? And then I found out because, you know, collecting a hundred percent. I mean, I have a hundred percent of this before 2010, but I don't think it was a hundred percent when I viewed the ending credits. Uh, that, that's what I'm guessing, but anyway. So, the guy who founded, the guy who founded Infogrames, his name will be uh, sometime after the, the testers section thing. Yeah, Bruno Bonnell. That's it. He's the guy who founded Infogrames. That's what I was trying to point out. I mean, he doesn't work for Infogrames anymore. I mean, I typed his name into Google and it, it says that he, he's now working for a company that makes robots. But, yeah. Yeah, Infogrames, you know, became part of Atari. I mean, it owned Atari, but then it, it re reincorporated as Atari or so something like that. I mean, yes. So, one thing I'm going to show you now is what... <laughs> what I'm going to show you now is a cheat that I always used to use. I mean, this isn't the only cheat you can use, but... You know, it, it, it's the one I always used to use, and I will... I will show you. Yeah. If you want to find out about other cheats, I'll I'll put a link in the description just in case, you know. Yeah. So what you do in order well as you can see yeah, uh, the areas are not open because you know it's it's it, it it's Oh whatever. I can't think of what to say, but anyway. You hold down L one and no it's it's R2 no, oh for god's sake I can't remember yeah L2 R1 
and then I press X square R2 L1 circle X square 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 and there we go you may notice that all the errors are there and I'll just open an error up just to just to show you what's happened yeah so all the uh, all the levels are now open so you, so you can do them in whatever order you want but something that I need to remind you is that uh, is that you've got to make sure that you do know the level nowhere first because because if you do one of these levels and not done nowhere yet then nowhere will become locked up and you won't be able to get the uh, the clock and golden carrots so that means that, you, that if you miss that when if you miss that level when doing this cheat then you won't be able to get full 100% be you won't be able to get full 100% you know because you can't you won't be able to access that level so do that level first and uh, yeah that might be the reason why I didn't see the uh, the proper ending credits until many years later so yeah that will be it for this video, so remember if you like it, please subscribe, say no to Star Kisses, and bye for now.